Hello, you're watching James. My name's James, you're watching me, and I'm talking about watches. Well, welcome today to a watch that I had on my to buy list of 2022, and that is the Seiko 5 SRPE51, also known as the Dress KX. Specifically, it's the grey dial variant. And I'm very happy and impressed that I was able to find the grey dial variant because this is the one that I was really wanting and really chasing. And I was able to get it at a reasonable price. So today, let me show you this new Seiko, or at least a new Seiko to me. Flip the camera and let's check it out. So we have the Dress KX and the grey dial variant as well. This was on my buy list or wanting to buy list of 2022. I'm really happy that I was able to find it at a price that I was happy to pay. It comes in this sort of outer box. We've got our sort of guarantee and instruction manual. We've got our uh, instruction manual for the 4R35 movement that it comes with. But inside here, fairly simple box. What we expect from a Seiko 5 is our nice, lovely sized, Beautiful looking Dress KX Seiko 5. And what is my first impression? What did I think as soon as I saw this watch, as soon as I pulled it out of the box? The first thing I thought was, wow, that's actually a little bit smaller than I expected. I'm not sure why I was expecting it to be slightly larger. I think because people are calling it the Dress KX, I'm thinking SKX, I'm thinking that sort of size of watch, perhaps with just a, a different movement inside, Obviously, non-screw down crown, different look, no bezel. But for some reason, even though I knew the size and dimensions of this watch, I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger. Now, this is not a negative. This is not a bad thing about this watch. I think this is a beautifully sized watch. And now I really sort of more understand why they're saying dress KX. They're talking about the KX because of the case shape and the general look and feel of it. Looks and reminds you a little bit of the SKX, but it's a dress. KX, dress being the size, the dimensions, how it looks on your wrist, and the sort of the, the general aesthetics of it so that it is a little bit more dressier, certainly more dressier than an SKX. And look at that beautiful sunburst grey dial. I really, really wanted this grey dial variant. There are a number of different dial colours itself, but this is the one that I was chasing. And let's just have a look. It, it certainly is reminiscent from a case shape of that SKX. And just have a look at this. Have a look at that transition from the brushing on the top of that case through to the polishing there. There isn't a uh, soft transition. There's more of a, a bit of a ridge. Let's see if I can grab it. There we go. Do you see that? There's a little ridge there. And you know what that reminds me of? That reminds me a lot of the Seiko Saab 033, where on the case, it actually has that little step down. Now, it's not exactly the same as that. It is not as pronounced, but it is definitely there. It's, it's not just a quick transition. There is sort of a, uh, a sort of a concave section there when it transitions. You can feel it when you put your nail in there. There's actually a little bit of a transition. It's quite nice. It just it gives the watch just a little bit more character as well. It's it's beautiful. It's lovely, and sort of as expected, not screw down, uh, but having the 4R movement in there, we have hand winding, and of course we have hacking. Everything about the dial is fairly simple. It's very much what you sort of expect from an aesthetic look nice sort of simple bezel and we have exactly what we expect from a bracelet this is exactly what they are bringing out now with all the seiko 5 range bracelets certainly a lot better than they used to be many years ago but we still have hollow end links they are a folded metal uh, links you know they're not that sort of rolled metal that they used to have they now as you can see that crease it's just to me it's like a sandwich piece of metal that they've folded over in, in half and then put the hole through for the the link there even though it looks like it's three piece, of course, it's only a one solid link. We have split pins in there. And as we always expect with Seiko, it's a folded as well as a, a pressed clasp there. Nothing too fancy there. We expect this now from Seikos. We expect this from Seikos that are a lot more expensive than this. In the back, we have that nice display case back. And I like how it's quite large as well. It really, you can really see inside there. Very nice and neat and tidy. And what to me, what it looks a little bit different to some of the older see-through case backs on the Seiko 5 is that I think they've moved their sort of descriptions a little bit further out to the edge, so it doesn't get in the way as much of looking through. I seem to recall some of the earlier see-through case backs on the Seiko 5s, it was sort of obscured a little bit looking through because of all the text around it. Also, they've got a signed rotor on there with the new Seiko 5 logo. That's very nice to see 
and it's always nice to look in there. And I can certainly say that that 4R movement, it's a nicer, prettier movement to look inside at than previous sort of models, what was in the older Seiko 5s. And how does it look on my six and three quarter inch wrist? Well, it looks absolutely fantastic. Beautiful dimensions, really sits pleasantly on wrist. Really sits nice this way as well. Plenty of room for that bracelet to wrap around my wrist. Very, very nice looking. I can see why these have become such a popular looking watch and such a popular watch in general. Really does look nice on wrist. I really am enjoying this watch. I am really looking forward to wearing this longer term. And of course, as always, I am going to be wearing this longer term prior to doing that full review of this watch. So in about four to six weeks, I'll put together that review and I hope to see you in that video as well as some of my others. Thank you very much for watching.